Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. It's really a dream come true because I've been desiring to acquire a small boat just for me to be able to room around without, you know, getting wet and it's finally here now. We have actually bought this uh, very tiny boat that we're gonna use for the cleaning up and you know the monitoring of our fish pond. And today we're gonna use this boat to harvest our azola. And I have with me my uh, goose, my savior, in case I will capsize. No, that's kidding. I don't know how to swim, but I have with me my favorite goose. Of course, you know that this is just a shallow tank, but we are trying our best to, you know, make this dip. Actually, Mark, our staff, is uh, doing, you know, an effort now to make this more deeper because we are set to put a large net, a fish cage, right here. We're gonna make this more deep. So my way of you know controlling the movement is actually to just press down the paddle so that we will anchor here. Oh okay. This is my first time to do this and I hope this will not fail. <laughs> okay. Wait for, for a while, don't be Panic. Okay. I think that's this is the way how to do this. Okay. So maybe you can go down because you will be disturbing me. Okay. Oh 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 oh! You know this asola plantation is really doing good. And this is your suggestion. Why not buy a small boat for you to have an easy access to your to your Asola? And this is it now. Thanks for the advice. This Asola is really grow growing very fast. That we can get some five kilos every day for our pets we have encountered some problem because the frogs are really eating the azola they will jump into the box pond and will really eat the azola but this time it's quite you know more convenient and more successful compared to the box because the box has so many problems the temperature of the water is really very high that the sola will experience this tip born the tip of the leaves will become yellowish and this is what i have observed but in here you will see this green leaves of the azola so far this is the best method that i have ever discovered <laughs> it's very really very enjoyable <laughs> it's a stress reliever <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's sad because this portion here is very low. That's why I'm trying an effort to make this more deep. Okay. The Azola could really help us minimize the expenses, you know, for our food. And you see that, and we're doing this every day. Unbelievable.
My friends here, Mark, tingala niyo ba? Johnny Boy and Mark, can you say hi to my vlog? <laughs> they are doing some effort to make this more deep or deeper than three feet. Maybe we can achieve the five feet uh, depth so that we can put a large net and put some exotic fish or the ornamental fish. And then we will not anymore worry about the flood because the nets could just be easily raised and protect our fish from the volume of the water. And I hope this will work. But Mark and Johnny Boy is doing well. Okay na bay? <laughs> we'll try to water our coconuts. Oh. Yeah. Oops. I dream to have coconut juice. Wow. We're trying to grow dwarf coconuts along the pathway and both sides will have this line of dwarf coconuts and this is really uh, very beautiful. I have seen this in some resorts and it really looks beautiful especially if they will bear fruit already. So I have more than 10 and the other side of this will also be uh, planted with coconuts and they hope to harvest this because this is just in a period of three years you will already harvest if uh, you will just you know take care of them like this one you have to water them especially during summer and I believe this will grow fast Up, up. 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 This three layer cages was actually intentionally for the quails. We have so many quails before, but since uh, our neighborhood complained about the noisy quails, they cannot sleep during the night because the quails are really very noisy that's why I stop you know producing quails and since we are already far from the neighborhood I think we can start again with the quails so for the time being I am going to you know uh, put in here our breeder Siam chickens because the Siam chickens are actually being bullied by the ducks they are not incompatible that's why I really desired to separate them of course, we have to make some cages, elevated cages right here that we can have a temporary, you know, um, shelter for our chickens. And look at our Siam hens. They are very fat. <laughs> See that? I bought this from the farm of my friend. And uh, the rooster is here. Oh, you will stay here. Okay? You will stay here. You will see here that these uh, chickens are just very tame that they can easily adapt new environment you can transfer them from one place to another and they will adapt it and they will not go far i've told you about this azola you see they're eating the azola this could mean many things they like it and they get some nutrients out of this you know these chickens also have the capacity to discern the food that they're eating if they feel that they can get some vitamins out of the food that they're eating they will do so and you will see that they're eating a lot see that so this azola is really highly recommended in our future videos we're gonna be showing you 
the largest asola plantation in the country and that's my declaration because um, the place that we are in right now is just perfect 100% perfect for the azola plantation you will see that it's really very helpful and this azola could help many farmers and you can also sell that to those ones who desire also in farming this kind of weeds I can always welcome you if you would like to visit in our country in our city and you're always welcome and you will see that our mollies are really thriving now they are swimming and they are contented with the new environment that we have and I can sense that in the couple of months we can see babies of mollies and we can harvest thousands of them so these are all the things that we can share I hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel may we humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit the notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly and I would like to see you in my next video on here at Dexter's World.